Okay, once you've downloaded the assets and imported them into After Effects, we are going to use it to create a green screen uh, driving car interior, which is something you see all the time now on uh, network shows. So let's take that footage green screen car interior. We will drag it into our composition button, so it'll be the length of our composition. And let's just take a look and see what the uh, footage looks like. Okay, and so then if you look at the footage, you'll see that we had we have some moving shadows happening across the the subject's faces to give the impression that they're driving through trees, and we have some over here we have some built-in uh, branch reflections. We were those were actually what we were using to create the shadows, and they caught the edges of the windshield for added uh, believability. So let's start by eliminating the green screen. Let's go into keying. We will take key light, drag it into the comp. First thing we'll do is we'll take the screen color and we will make the green go away. Now let's clean it up a little bit because you can see that we've kind of created, uh, we can see m more of this tra is transparent than we would like. So let's go ahead and take final result and we will put it into screen mat and then we will take a look at the screen mat options and basically we want to make the whites white and the blacks black. And so let's we'll pull up the clip black until everything looks black. This is a little gray here so let's make it a little darker. Okay, so all of our blacks look black and now let's drag our whites white until there's no detail. Okay, and so I think I'd like to darken my black up just a little more. Okay, and now we will go back to final result. And now we've got a pretty good key. Next thing we will do is we'll go back to our project and we will take our background plate and we'll drop it behind our car. And let's render that and see what it looks like. Okay, now the uh, the driving footage that we have is uh, we shot on the back of a truck and it's really shaky. So what we will want to do is we will want to um, correct that, and we will I'm going to right click on this layer to get up the sub menu, and we will go to Warp Stabilizer, and it will start to stabilize that footage. And, but will allow us to continue working. Um, our clip has two shots, so we're going to want to find where where the edit is, and I'm going to use page down to go frame by frame. And we will select. I'm going to hold down the shift button, select both those layers, hit Shift Command D to split it, and then have it so we've got one shot here and one shot here. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to go back to our footage and we want to grab our window reflection and put it on top. And we will uh, hit T for opacity. We'll set it at 50% so we can see through it. And we're going to draw a mask that follows just the inside. Well, actually, let's. Yeah, let's just draw it inside of this white so that uh, it looks like it's just being reflected on the windshield. So we'll take our pen tool. And I'm going to hold the option button down to straighten that out. And the option, holding down the option button is giving me the... Uh, the pull downs and releasing it brings us back into the pen tool.
combine that all. And now let's um, hit the open up the masks and let's feather it. Let's see what 10 pixels looks like. And right here, I'm going to turn off the the path visibility so that I can see it. And that looks actually pretty good. And let's set this window reflection, the blend mode to screen. And that'll help us see through it. And let's hit T again, maybe. Maybe we should, we're seeing too much of it. Okay, let's uh, render that and see what it looks like. And let's time reverse this layer, layer, time, reverse layer, and take a look at it going the other direction. All right, that looks better. It looks like the trees are going away. But it's awfully shaky again, right? So we will want to uh, warp stabilize that. And it will tell us that the... Uh, uh, that the mask won't work on warp stabilized footage, which is fine. Um, what we'll need to do is go to our mask and we will cut it with Command X. And then I'm going to pre compose and we'll call it window reflection final. And we want to move all the attributes into that new composition. All right. And now here, we'll hit Command V, and we will paste our mask back in it. So by creating this pre-comp, we are able to get our uh, stabilization going. Uh, and still get the mask that we want. Now let's go down to our green screen footage. We've got this little um, black doohickey here that we need to cut out and so with green screen footage selected we will draw a mask and make it go away and the way we'll make it go away is I'll hit M and we'll set this to subtract. All right. So the cool thing about this warp stabilization is that we can do a whole lot of other work while we are uh, continuing with this. Next thing we want to do is we want to color correct our car so that it feels more like it belongs out in a bluer space. And so what we will do is we are going to uh, select our green screen layer and we are going to drag um, synthetic aperture color finesse on it and we will click full interface. If a registration window pops open, go ahead and just fill it in and uh, it'll then allow you to enter the program. Okay, so now we're in the color correction program and we've got these separate monitors that do different things. We've got our, um, our waveform monitor that shows us the brightness and contrast. 100% um, being white and 0 being HD black. We've got our uh, vector scope that shows us color and most useful is the RGBA waveform monitor which shows us not only the peaks and valleys of um, our RGB blue channels but where the gammas for them fall in between. What, where we will start is with curves so make an X and the first thing that we want to do is find a black balance. So we'll click, click on that black. And then right here on her shirt is nice and black. So we'll say, please make that black. And then we will pick the white balance. And let's make this white. All right. Now let's go to RGB. And we'll click on that. 
and I just kind of want to uh, um, get the flesh tones a little more uh, desaturated on our little fella right there. So let's go to mid-tones in RGB. And let's make him a little more blue. So let's play with the blue gamma. Just a little bit. And okay. And and now so now we can on and off take a look at it. So that looks pretty good. Um, if you want to start from scratch, you can hit reset here, but we'll just say that's okay for now. And we will bring it back into the program. And uh, we're a little we're a little uh, pink up here. So let's go back into it. So let's go to the simplified interface and see if we can tweak it. Um, let's go into the highlights. And let's pull down the saturation in the highlights. And that cleans it up a little bit. All right. And that looks better. So let's move on. Our background plate. We need to put that out of focus. So let's go to camera lens blur, drag it in there. And we want to repeat. We, you can see where here on the edges that the uh, that we get this little white. And uh, if we hit repeat edge, edge pixels, that'll solve that problem. Now let's hit Command V and let's paste that into the window reflection. See if we like how that looks. It's kind of nice having that a little softer. It draws our attention to um, our subjects more. So now let's go to our second shot. And let's take our window reflection. And I'm going to split it with Command D. I'm going to drag it on top. And we'll make that mask go away. Click and delete it so that it covers the whole window. He needs to be darkened a little bit. So let's go ahead into our simplified fu functions. Take our midtones and lower the gamma. Actually, in this one, let's raise the gamma. There we go. All right. So this match pretty good. Let's render the. Let's uh, RAM render that. And see what we got. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Just a few more tweaks. Um, let, me, let me get this all fit on my comp again so I can see what I'm doing. Next thing we'll do is we will create an adjustment layer. On top, and I'll hit return on that. We'll call it vignette. We're going to darken the edges in order to uh, make it all work a little more seamlessly. So with the vignette tool clicked, I'm going to just double click on our uh, mask shape here. Bring it in a 
little bit into our world and we will go into color correction and we will look for levels we'll drag that into there and we'll darken the gamma a little bit and we will set this mask to subtract and we will feather it out let's see what 150 looks like for a feather turn off our path so we can see and we'll turn an eyeball on and off again so pretty good let's see what a 250 feather looks like with our eyeball all right this is good this is doing a good job of drawing our attention back to the center of our characters so the last thing that's a problem with this is that it still feels like it's in a studio and because it's a little too perfect and so the rules are clean a location and dirty a studio and so what we're going to do the reason why we did this was so that we'd have a really um, level uh, you know car for the performances and now we need to shake that up a little bit so let's go to the project and let's and our comp is called green screen car footage we'll pull that out and we will pull that comp into a new comp and let's call it green screen car footage final hit OK and we will make this 2.5D and we will add a camera and we want our lens to be 50 millimeters so that it'll be normal and not affect anything and what we want to do is we want to add a little wiggle so let's uh, type in wiggle in our effects and we'll take wiggle rotation and we will drag it into our car footage and you can see the way it's kind of offset into the, our alpha channel and that's too much so we'll, we'll just set our wiggle amount to 5 pixels and we will scale up let's, let's scale it up uh, let's try 103% and let's RAM render that and see how that feels. And I'll hit the RAM render. And now the car is bouncing a little bit and it all feels pretty darn believable. So go ahead and render that whole comp out. Post it on D2L.